Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Well, it's time now to review headlines on today's newspapers with the Ombudsman of this day and Arise Media Group and this day Newspapers Limited Group Executive Director Kayode Komolafe. Good morning, Mr. Komolafe. How are you good, this morning? Good morning, OJ. Good morning, thank thank you. Happy birthday. Well, thank Happy you very birthday much. Birthday to <laughs> I see that I will not be marginalized. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, as you know, there are always implications on Arise News for okay. birthday. So <laughs> you'll many, have you. Many happy returns. Thank you very good much. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. All right, okay. we start off uh, with this day uh, newspaper with the review. Uh, the lead story here says. Ahead of transition in 35 days, Tinubu returns home to confront challenges of zoning of National Assembly leadership, formation of cabinet, petrol subsidy, social cohesion, healing process, and tribunal cases. Uh, that's, that's this day basically saying that tomorrow, the president-elect will return after four weeks in France, where he had gone to rest. So... It means that, uh, you know, all those who have been saying, oh, where's the where president he elect? Well, he said he was going to Umrah. He didn't <laughs> go to Umrah. He spoke with the president on phone. You know, uh, this day saying well, emphatically. The report yeah. is also saying barren, unforeseen circumstances. circumstances. <laughs> so let's all just uh, keep our fingers crossed on that. Yeah, but after four weeks, I mean. That should be enough. People, that should be enough. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Don't you think so? I think so. Yeah. All right, so we'll proceed. On top of that lead story, Senate presidency, APC senators elect polarized along regional religious biases. Lawan silence over rumored ambition on settled aspirants. And on top of that, NLC urges Buhari not to allow Nigerians in Sudan to die. On the window, Sawolu orders demolition of 20 buildings in Banana Island. Says federal government agencies reckless, culpable in building collapse accuses Lagos state government officials of collusion. Mm. I think that's a major, major important position taken mm. uh, by the governor of Lagos state. And, and I think that that will go a long way in sending the right signals. Those are the stories, KK. Uh, I don't know if you'll be interested in the cover picture, but <laughs> I miss that. But those okay. are the key stories in today's this day. Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, lead story of uh, this day on Sunday, you know, is... Uh, uh, significant, you know, and also it raises a question, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, good news that the president elect will be back so that we will uh, be, uh, uh, I mean, fully, uh, I mean, feasible to be because, because already people are asking. Yeah. Yeah, the president, uh, the, I mean, the election has taken place, he's been elected. Yes. But where is the president elect? So it's, a, it's good news that he's going to be back. But then the just lean for uh, positions in the National Assembly. Mm. He raised this question about the policy content of our, of our politics, you know. Uh, you know, it shouldn't just be that, you know, the speculation of who will be the speaker or who will be the president of the uh, Senate, you know, that the, uh, the, the concentration should not only be on, uh, uh, I mean, based on geopolitical calculation, whether it's uh, North, or South, you know, Christian or Muslim. But also, you should be able to, uh, from now, be able to say what, what is the policy orientation, you know, that, okay, if uh, Mr. X becomes the Senate president, does it mean that he's going to support, you know, uh, I, mean, I mean, does it mean that he's going to mobilize the National Assembly to support, mm -hmm. you know, certain policies, you know, that the executive might bring forward, you know, for instance, you're talking of first subsidy, you're talking of, uh, you know, the debt, you know, uh, profile. Uh, the, 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 debt, uh, the debt profile, you're talking of, uh, you know, job creation, poverty alleviation. What are the, you know, the, 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 prof the I mean, the preferences, you know, will, he, will the speaker of the house be a speaker who is uh, uh, in support of raising taxes, you know, or, you know, cutting taxes. But discover that all this is, I mean, all these, you know, considerations, you know, policy considerations are lacking. You know, all we just talk about mm -hmm. is whether the president of the Senate is going to be from the north or from the south, or whether Christian or Muslim are the same thing, speaker. So I think there's need to elevate Mm -hmm. you know, the quality, you know, of, uh, uh, of, of politics and also yeah. increase the policy content, you know, the policy that you play. Now, like uh, Steve said, the uh, action of uh, uh, Governor Songolu, I think it's quite happening you know, because of the 
uh, uh, I mean, the trend yes. in the last few years, you know, yes. reading, reading collapse. Collapse. So it's really a challenge of governance because the regulation, you know, is the function, you know, of the of the, of the government. You know, yes. but what is interesting in this case now is that the state government is, uh, apart from accusing uh, its own uh, uh, officials you know, yes. of pollution, but also uh, uh, accusing some federal uh, you know, government agencies, you know, That's right. yes. you know the National uh, uh, Inland uh, uh, Waterways Authority, NEWA, mm -hmm. and even the Ministry of Works, you know, yes. that, you know, the, the construction, the sand filling, you know, of uh, the uh, I mean, of, of Banana Island, you, yes. know, you know, has been, uh, I mean, that the, the terrain, you know, the, the, the terrain, the environmental factors, you know, have not been sufficiently taken into, into consideration, you know, so that is really, you know, a policy challenge too, you know, for Governor Shogun, but... Uh, I watched, I watched the, the, you know, uh, on TV yesterday, you know, when he went there, and it was really very, you know, uh, um, categorical. Yeah. The, the three of the high rises around uh, the site of, of the of the Colas building, mm. yes. it was discovered that none of them had approval. Wow. And they are already suffering from integrity tests anyway. Yes. And, and the governor has, has given the directive that they have to be pulled yeah. down. Yeah. Exactly. But, you know, there's no denying you know, I mean, that. That, that sort of lawlessness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, in such a highbrow high high area. I mean, yeah. it, it, uh, it's... Yeah, well, I, I, I was it's, saying yeah. that there's no denying that, you know, these um, Lagos state government officials, uh, you know, are colluding oh, with yes. these developers Definitely. because you would see that the recent collapses are in a uh, highbrow areas. Yeah. I mean, if you can have those type of buildings collapse, I mean, what, what, what else is there? Oh, Gerard, in Banana, in Banana Island. Island, I mean, that's, I mean that's, that's, yeah. That's scary. But kudos, again, yeah. to the governor for actually, you know, and saying should, that And you should keep it, well. up. Yeah. Yeah. keep it up. Yeah. No, no sacred cows yeah. when it comes to people endangering lives of mm -hmm. citizens. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, right, should we should... go to the This Day style? Yeah, let's move <laughs> over to This Day yeah. style. The cover picture there is Marjorie Chuba Okadigo. Uh, she talked about empowering women in energy. She is the first female NNPC chairman. Um, you know, she's breaking new grounds and paving the way for more women to take on leadership roles in the oil and gas industry. She spoke with this day's style executive editor, Konye Nwabo. Mm. And, you know, they also talked about uh, creating a voice for other women in the male-dominated oil sector and the strategies that should be in place to address the under-representation of women in leadership position in the mm. country. I mean, in the industry as well. Um, I think another thing that is important, which I think, did you read that on this day? Which one? We, we see that we don't have the actual physical copy of this day's style. I mm. believe that they are trying to promote the website. That's so right. we can see an e-copy so the copy, the e -copy of the of this day style okay. on www.thisdaylive.com. Thisdaylive.com. I mean, I think that would be a good read. It's kind of like you and I, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you like to comment on Marjorie? Yes, I think the, the theme of uh, uh, Mrs. Okadibo's um, uh, interview is a very important one, you know, in trying to promote you know, gender equity you know, in, the, in the industry. And this is something she has actually been you know, talking, you know, about quite, quite some time. So it's a good thing that mm. uh, this day style has uh, provided a, a good platform, for, you know, for her yeah. to expatiate, you know, that particular thing, which mm. is a very you know, important one. Would, would she have the privilege of appealing the court ruling that has removed her from, uh, from the position no, of... it the, is not her business. The, the case yeah. is against... The, the federal who, government, who, 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 who appointed, appointed. <laughs> she, she doesn't have any, okay. she doesn't have any, any, any problem at all, you know. Oh. You know um, Mr. Araro took the, 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 the uh, in fact, took President, the president. Uh, president uh, Buhari to, uh, to, to, to court. To court. Yeah. So, oh. Isn't that funny that, uh, <laughs> that the president yeah. who, who owns the appointment says, this is the person that I want, and then he said, no way. But, I mean, yeah, that's... It's, it's, it's left for the court. <laughs> and in any case, the, the court has decided in his favor <laughs> this time around. But, but that, the, that's the first, that's the the first round. For appeal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Should we Should look at the okay, at let's Tribune? Let's take a look at the Sunday Tribune. The headline story there reads, EFCC uncovers a ring of fraudsters investing in real estate. Uh, it's on page six. Targets owners of estates in Abuja and other cities. Uh, right there on the top it reads, 
Hope rises for stranded Nigerian citizens in Sudan. Uh, full read on there on page four. Nema is assuring uh, Nigerians who are stranded in Sudan of safe evacuation. However, peace not yet in sight as warlords vow to fight to the finish. I mean, this is a story that has been going on with everything that's happening yeah. in Sudan. There was supposed to be so tragic, a 72-hour yeah. ceasefire, yeah. but unfortunately, that has not been the case. But it's looking like... There's hope for Nigerian citizens in Sudan. Maybe they'll be brought back into Nigeria. Yeah, that is, okay. that is how it affects yeah. us uh, directly. And it's a good thing that the, the federal government is taking yeah. steps, you know. I think we can, all we should do is to urge the uh, relevant uh, uh, authorities to ensure the safety of every Nigerian yeah. you know, that is in Sudan and that they yeah. are mm. uh, okay. safe. So and just very quickly, at the bottom there, we're seeing a story that says two-story structure collapses in Ibado police barracks. And I just picked that because, I mean, we're talking yeah. about yes. everything that's been happening with exactly. the collapse building yeah, in right. Ikoi. Right. So, I mean, there should be an investigation into what Absolute, has happened in Ikoi and the highbrow areas. But the lowbrow areas they, themselves should not be ignored because even there, there's also corruption. That, that's so, for, your, for your state government <laughs> to deal with. But I wanted yeah. to make a yeah. comment about the EFCC uncovering thing. Yeah. This is a big, big issue. Big uh, but, but one thing that the EFCC should also look into is the growing rate mm. of of fraud mm. uh, on the on the internet on social media for people who are who, who are buying foodstuffs mm. you know and edibles through this thing so many of them many big low medium people complaining now you pay you see what you want to buy you, you pay and then it. you never receive it and then they cut you off it's a major thing. Well, no, I believe we have about a minute left. Yeah. Steve, if you can actually just read through. Punch essentially so is saying that on Sudan, Sudan conflict, federal government raises evacuation panel as trapped Nigerians knock government. Students, parents call for urgent rescue. Sudan approves airlift of US, UK, France, China citizens. I think Abike Dabiri has been saying uh, quite a bit about how Nigerian students especially, you know, will be evacuated, but I think it's important. All right, let's yeah. look at the Guardian newspaper, the Guardian. The lead story there, generals who failed Nigeria. Mm. Uh, writers there, presidency's success verdict on stemming insecurity is insincere. We discussed with uh, an APC media um, <laughs> person earlier, and we talked about insecurity. Well, that's what experts are saying, that the president is insincere on his uh, verdict on stemming All insecurity. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, another writer there um, insists on value on lives, property has been at lowest. Advise incoming governor on addressing security lapses. We don't have much time, right. uh, Mr. Okay, Coyote. Okay, 30 seconds, thoughts? if you can wrap up. Yeah. Yeah, just to underline what we said about the collapse building, you know, that is, it is, I, I, beneath all this is failure of regulation. You know, regulation. And that the focus of uh, uh, government should not just only be in the uh, eyebrow areas, but also in the low dense, uh, I mean, the high density areas, you know, where you, poor people actually reside, and where this recklessness, the lawlessness, you know, uh, prevail. All right. right. Well, thank you very much, KK, and happy birthday one more time to our <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, all right, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching, and do stay safe. I'm Steve. Are you ready? And I'm Shaito Atigari. Well, and I'm Oji Okwe. For my entire team here in Lagos, Nigeria, enjoy the rest of your morning, and of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.